The SEM Minimax ME2080 is an extended version of the ME25, plus it adds pre-mill. The ME2080, like the ME20 and ME25, are nearly single-sided, meaning the setup and feed are all on one side, saving floor space. Even the electrical panel is located on the lower right, while the regulator and 120mm dust port are located on the left side of the machine. There is a second 80mm dust port located on the top right for the pre-mill. The ME20T is 3100mm or 122 inches long. It is 1150mm or just over 45 inches deep with the top carousel sticking out the furthest to the rear right of the machine. Overall height is 1,270 millimeters or 50 inches. While the work table height sits right at 904 millimeters or 35.5 inches. The front material support is adjustable and adds 260 millimeters to the depth of the machine when fully extended forward. The display currently shows an E1 reset. To reset the machine, you're simply going to hit the white button below your e-stop. The black button is a hard stop and is going to require you to reset the machine to continue operation. On the top left is the glue pod control. The first thing you often do is turn the glue pod on. On your display, your bottom readout is going to show set temperature while the top is going to show actual temperature of the glue pot. You can choose between rolls and strips. The ME2080 does have two strip modes, 0 to 3 millimeters and 3.5 to 5 millimeters. It is 5 millimeter capable on strips and 3 millimeter capable on rolls. Below this is your control for end trim, pre-mill, and your buffers. These are not optioned on the ME2080 as this control is used on several machines in the ME lineup. You have a stop button followed by a start button. The difference between this pair and your other pair are more of a play and pause whereas these are resetting the machine. This is your 7 meter a minute feed. You simply toggle to the right and your conveyor will start. Your conveyor will not start until your glue comes up to temp. So once your actual glue temperature matches your set temperature, you will be able to engage your feed. The rest of the controls are used to program the PLC with options like temperature and language. We are going to take a look at an SCM ME2080, which is an extended ME25 with pre-mill and a couple other small changes. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to free up the height adjustment. So when you free this carriage up and you loosen this bolt, it is going to allow you to be able to adjust the height. When you come to the left hand side, you do have a numeric readout. It reads out in millimeters. You're going to take that same supplied 17 millimeter wrench and you're just going to crank up or down. You do have a 50 millimeter max capacity 
for height on this machine. We are going to lift the top open. It does have a gas strut to hold that top open. We're now going to loosen this bolt all the way. And what's nice is the machine is going to capture that bolt. So you don't have to worry about losing it. So as you can see, it is quite a bit longer than the 25. You still have the same lower conveyor. The difference is, is this one is going to be 74 inches long, which is 19 inches longer than the 25. Your front material support is going to be 91 inches long, which is 14 inches longer than that of the ME25. And you're going to also have 50 feed wheels. So there's 50 overhead feed wheels on this machine, as opposed to the 36 that you have on the ME25. You still have a nearly 29 inch carousel on this machine. The in-feed fence is very, very different. So what you are going to get are these inserts. This is a zero millimeter insert. So this is if you're not using pre-mill. This right here is going to hit the switch and turn your pre-mill off. So if you're not using pre-mill, this is what you are going to use. You also do have a 0.5, a 1, and a 1.5 millimeter insert as well. And again, these just drop into two pins into the fence. There are some built-in magnets and they just slide over. Really, really easy to change over. We are gonna take the supplied little mini wrench here, little 10 millimeter wrench, loosen up that nut, and that's gonna allow us to see that single pre-mill. That's gonna help square up the edges of your board. Uh, that is the number one issue with edge banding is having a perfectly square edge. It does have the same glue pot, same applicator as the ME20 and ME25. It's a one liter. You do have adjustment off the front here, like you do on the 20 and 25. It's gonna allow you to move that glue pot both in and out. This is the same tape feed that you're going to find on the 25. The same guillotine on the 25. You're going to get two uh, plated pressure rolls. So this is a little bit different than either the 20 or 25. And you do have the best adjustment out of the three in the back here. So you do have some scales that are built in and really fine adjustment. This also shares the end trim of the 25 as well. So you're gonna have a motorized end trim. This machine is three millimeter capable. So this is your front and end trim. And again, three millimeter capable. You do have your top and bottom trim. This is the same unit out of your ME. 20 and ME25. Really easy to adjust. Numeric readouts in the back. You're also going to have the top and bottom profile scrapers that are found in the 25 and buffers as well.